Hi there, this is a training video session by GG Technologies. From this training session you can understand how to install Exchange 2007 on Windows Server 2008. In this training session, I am going to install Exchange Server 2007 with Service Pack 1. Before proceeding with the Exchange Server installation, first you have to prepare your Windows Server 2008. The tools we require for Exchange Server installation are .NET Framework, version 2.0, or 3.0, PowerShell RTM, MMC 3.0, IIS 7. In order to install the required tools, you have to run the following commands one after the other at the command prompt. After executing the first command, you have to reboot your computer. Then, after the reboot, I use a simple batch file to run the other commands in sequence. You can see the part of the output from the command prompt. Now the required tools for your Exchange 2007 are installed. Now, it's the time to install Exchange Server. Start setup and press, Install Microsoft Exchange Server 2007 with Service Pack 1. Here, you can go through the information about Exchange Server 2007. Now read the license agreement and accept its terms. For get going with the installation in the error reporting scheme, you have to choose whether you wish to automatically send error reporting information to Microsoft and select your option. Here, I select the option yes. Now you have to decide the type of your Exchange Server installation. Here, I select Typical Exchange Server Installation. Specify the name of your Exchange Organization. I specify my Exchange Organization name as GG Technologies. Client Settings requires a public folder to connect the Exchange 2007 to clients running Outlook 2003 or earlier versions. You can choose whether to create a public folder database for clients running Outlook 2003 and earlier by selecting yes or no. Since I do not have clients running Outlook 2003 or earlier, I select no. Now the readiness checks is in progress, which checks whether the server meets all the requirements for each exchange role being installed. As long as the checks complete successfully, you can press install to perform the installation of Exchange Server 2007. You can see the progress of the installation of each Exchange application being installed. Typically the time required for the installation will be 30 minutes to an hour depending on the speed of your computer and the applications installed. Now the Exchange 2007 setup is successfully completed. Once setup completes, you will have a working Exchange Server 2007 with Service Pack 1 installed on your Windows Server 2008. Finally, you can view your Exchange Management Console. We hope that this training session made your task of installing Exchange 2007 on Windows Server 2008 simple and interesting. We feel happy in providing you with the training on how to install Exchange 2007 on Windows Server 2008. For queries, feel free to contact us at guruji at ggtech.com. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.